after my third child, I started to notice a difference in um, just what I call the tummy wuggles. So, you know, thing, foods affected me more than they normally did. And that's when I started to think, you know, something's really wrong, like something's off. And I looked for every reason in the book other than going to see a doctor. For me to talk about my, my stomach issues or, you know, being bloated and gassy and all that, that's not the kind of discussion you, you want to have. So I was like, okay, that's a little embarrassing. I really want to deal with that, we'll just figure it out. And honestly, my mother was the person who said to me, you know, you need to go, you need to make an appointment with a gastroenterologist. Orlina came into our office with symptoms. At one point I started to see blood in my stool, and now I'm actually frightened. I said, I'm scared. I said to her, this could certainly be colitis. This is unlikely to be an infection at this point, but we shouldn't play games with this symptom. And we need to consider your having an examination of your colon or a colonoscopy. He just kind of looked at me, he said, okay, I understand, but from everything I can see, you need to do a colonoscopy. We at least need to find out what's going on. And I was like, you're gonna do what? You're gonna go where? With what? No, like people are not, no. She had all of the denial going on, and she said, well, it's not a big deal, it's probably this, it's probably that. And I said, this is not a time to play betting games. This is your life. 10 days later, she called. I'm having bleeding every day. Five days later, she had her colonoscopy. And at the time of her colonoscopy, I found a very large mass in the lower part of her colon. I wake up, my doctor was leaning over me, holding my hand and saying, I'm so sorry, um, you're gonna have to have surgery. We found a huge mass. And I remember saying out loud and crying, I have three babies. This can't happen, I have three babies. The surgery was performed at the Washington Hospital Center. The pathologist called me and said, this is a very large tumor. We have not found any cancer. We are stunned. People say, you know, what you don't know will kill you. What you don't know will kill you. That's the problem when it comes to your health. Like I went 18 months, almost two years, with having issues and symptoms that literally could have killed me. That procedure that day saved my life. This was a colon cancer waiting to happen. There were changes already in the tissue that were precancerous and very much on the edge of becoming cancer, but she hadn't crossed the line. So I walked around with a massive tumor basically closing off my intestine, and I survived to tell. Um, but, but most people with that scenario or those symptoms don't live to tell, and you don't want to be that person. I think what everybody else can learn from Orlina is pay attention to your body. If you have symptoms and they're minor and they go away, fine. But if you have symptoms that persist, pay attention, listen to what your body is saying, get in, get the care, get it done. You don't want to find out that you have a massive tumor and you didn't do anything about it and the only way that you could do something about it is go get a colonoscopy, go get a colonoscopy. For me, that's my message. Go get a colonoscopy. It's not that bad.